So my desktop microphone has an issue where like half the time the audio is really high pitched and garbled. So we're gonna um, try this again and hope it works this time. So this is the Python script. What it does is it imports a text document. Um, it creates a temporary text document with this name because it was fun to come up with a ridiculous name rather than just name it something sensible like temp.txt. And we have this for loop where it, it looks for the line with m101 and then it breaks out of the for loop. Um, and it, this for loop uses the same variable i as the later for loop so that um, it will uh, only start after m101. Then we have all of this stuff here. So this is the parameters you can change. Um, we have material code. If you're using uh, ABS, this needs to be 259 instead of 200, which is the code for black ABS. 200 is the code for white PLA. The color shouldn't matter. Uh, Multi-extruder is not supported with Cura, so ignore all of the multi-extruder stuff. It just probably needs to be here. Material length is an arbitrary number. I chose two because I thought two was a nice number. Um, material length E1 is 2.00. Again, ignore the other extruders. Um, they are irrelevant. Uh, and then we have a bunch of random G-code commands that help initialize the machine. Um, I don't really care or know what exactly those do other than the ones that set the temperature. Um, where we have M104, which sets the um, extruder temperature. Technically, the script's setting it to 270, but I, my impression is that the printer doesn't care. I haven't checked that, and the script may be setting it to a stupidly high temperature for uh, PLA, which may be part of my print quality woes. I need to actually test that at some point. Um, then we have M104 S40, which sets the, uh, M404 S40, which sets the uh, build chamber heater to 40 degrees Celsius. I have checked the printer does listen to this temperature. Um, so you can actually adjust what you want the build chamber to be um, within reason. It's I don't know what the maximum temperature is. I haven't tried going higher than 40, but I've tried going lower than 40 and the printer maintains what temperature you tell it to. So, um, w once we get to the second loop, basically what we do is we just copy over all of the lines, um, except for the lines that start with a comment, or um, lines that start with M82 have comments after them, so we don't copy over those lines and just put a new M82 there. Um, and then we write the file, and then we encode it with this Cube Pro encoder, which is a uh, different program that um, someone made that's linked to in my first video. Um, excellent program. It just does an encryption job um, on the file. So my Python script is basically just editing the formatting of the Cura to get it to be what the Cube Pro likes. And then this is encrypting it because the Cube Pro for some reason insists on encrypted G-code. OK. So I'm going to slice these again because I sliced them before when my audio didn't work. And we're going to just do this again. So. Oh, I need to save you with a sensible name. So this is from 4.8. Um, yeah, 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 overwrite the modified one. Um, again, I did this already. Um, and this is from 3.6. Um, and I generally use 3.6, but 4.8 should work as well. Um, I should also show you the Cura settings. So if we go to um, printers, um, machine settings, the extruder should have a 0.35 millimeter um, nozzle size. And um, all of these settings should basically be like this. Um, you should also probably increase your flow rate because I don't know, otherwise you'll have under extrusion issues um, is what I found. So we'll reload this to Cura's files. So Cura has files that look like this. We have all these comments with semicolons. These need to go away. We have all of this initialization code that's different from the initialization code that the cube is actually expecting. That all needs to be replaced. So that's what my script does. So if we go over to Python 3 um, and open up my script um, by dragging it onto Python 3. And of course, there's so much junk in this folder now, I can't actually see Python 3. Um, we can go ahead and do that. Um, and then now my script's open. And now we can just drag things in. 
So, oh, come on, short clip. There we go. Um, so if we drag in 3.6, you can see that we um, now have it modified with all of this information. Um, and we also now in the folder, we already had it because again, I did this earlier, but we have 3.6.q pro, which would be new. And this is encrypted. You can see it's completely unreadable. And this is what the um, printer actually wants. Now, if you wanted to modify any settings on a one-off basis without modifying the script, you could do so um, up here and then just take this uh, G code file after you save it and drag it back onto cube pro encoder.exe to manually encode it a second time. Um, Here's our unencoded 4.8. And if we go ahead and just do that exact same process again, we can re-encode it. So boop, um, and then drag in 4.8. Then you can see we now have this one modified as well. Um, and these should both work on the machines. They're very, very similar files, despite being generated with different versions of Cura. Neither of them have any comments because the machine will, uh, that's a colon, not a semicolon. Those are fine. You can see that there's no semicolons um, or else the machine will get mad and say it's invalid G-code. Um, that's a colon as well, sorry, I can type. Um, oh, you can't see this, but it says uh, I can't find the text. Um, so anyways, don't, just, uh, if you're having trouble with this, I apologize, but um, I'm also, I'll try to provide support, but I'm also uh, busy and just did this for fun. So uh, this is just kind of my guide on what's supposed to happen. And if this isn't happening for you, then um, I don't know, Python's weird, um, but Python was also a really quick and easy way to write this. Um, you can do all of this stuff manually. It's just a giant pain. Um, you can do some of this stuff with uh, reg, reg regex, uh, regular expressions in a decent text editor, um, which is less of a pain, but at that point you're basically just writing your own script, but in uh, regular expressions instead of Python. Um, anyways, you, hopefully you can figure this out. Um, I just thought it would be helpful to release it to people, but I also um, understand that the Cube Pro is an incredibly finicky and weird machine and um, that people are going to have issues with it. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.